Hi everybody! I wanted to share a few words about my coaching and talk specifically about why I am coaching. So I know that for many athletes it is quite natural progression to move from their athletic career to their coaching career. But with me that was not the case. I actually had a lot of inner resistance towards becoming a coach. And I think the inner resistance came from the fact that I have seen and experienced a lot of coaching in my life, both on ice and off ice, that I would call very unethical. And so I know how devastating the effects of that kind of coaching can be, especially if you have experienced that as a child. That's that. But then what really helped me to move through the inner resistance and to answer the calling to become a coach, after all, was the fact that I have also seen and experienced so much coaching that I would call oh, absolutely positive, inspirational, transformational, you know, uh, sometimes even life giving, life saving, to be honest. And I'm so very grateful for all those coaches and mentors and teachers that I've had in my life because they have really modeled me the way of coaching and teaching that I very much admire and want to be able to embody as a coach myself now. Because I know it's not only about the technical knowledge, although that is important, obviously, but it's so much more about the quality of your presence and that your coaching is aligned with your values and it comes from your heart uh, because that really reduces the risk that you might harm the people that you work with, especially children, and it also increases the chances that you would be a very positive, empowering force in those people's lives that you have the honor to coach. So that's why I coach, that's why I love coaching and take it very seriously. Uh, it is a sacred job, I think. And I hope this little talk was able to highlight uh, my deep appreciation towards coaching as a profession and also the need for us coaches to be very ethically mindful of the way we coach people, especially children, again, so that we take into consideration their whole well-being and their humanity and also our own well-being and humanity. All right, I think that was all for now. Thank you so much for listening and I hope to speak to you soon again. Bye-bye.